Hey guys, welcome to the class. Uh, here we're going to discuss about formatted I.O. So here I.O. means it stands for input output and we are going to discuss about the formatted input and output. There are some standard functions to perform this formatted input and output. So the common uh, standard functions which we use for uh, this formatted input and output are the printf and scanf. So printf and scanf are the two functions that we commonly use for input and output and these functions are called as the standard functions. Okay, And here this printf statement is usually used to display the output to the user at console whereas the scanf is used to read the input through keyboard that is from keyboard via console and uh, these two functions are the standard functions for input and output then we are saying that it is a formatted input output so why it is called as a formatted input output functions okay why that name came why we are saying it as formatted input output functions because here it uses some specific format specifiers okay and this allows us to read or display any value of primitive data types that is why it is called as a formatted io there is some specific format we have to follow okay only for from with that format we can write this statements print up and scan up that is why these functions are called as formatted io functions it is using some specific format specifiers so what are all the format specifiers okay so what is the purpose of those uh, format specifiers that we will discuss now and here these are all the commonly used format specifiers like a percentage hi percentage hu then percentage d percentage u percentage ld percentage lu then percentage c percentage f lf capital lf then percentage s so these are all the format specifiers that we are using in our printf and scanf statements and what are all these format specifiers or what is the purpose of all these format specifiers so here this this format specifier percentage hi is used for short integer values so when we want to print any short integer values or when we want to read any short integer values so at that time we can use this format specifier percentage hi in the same way we have percentage hu and this format specifier is used for unsigned short integer so when it is signed one we can use hi but when we are going for this unsigned short integer values at that time we can use this hu okay so basically uh, where we can use this u means uh, when we are specifying any address okay so when we want to print any address or specify some address at the time we can use this u because address can't be in a uh, negative value right so address can't be with minus sign so it always with the positive value only positive sign only so for that purpose we can use this u and the next one is percentage d so we already have used this percentage d in all the uh, examples that we have seen in our previous videos so the common uh, as format specifier that we are using for uh, reading or uh, displaying the integer value is percentage d so this specifies the signed integer value which means here we can uh, use both positive integer value as well as negative integer value then coming to percentage u so it is for unsigned integer value as specified you can use this for addresses so which is an unsigned uh, which is used to represent unsigned integer value then uh, coming to percentage ld so which is for long integer value so long type of integer value then lu means unsigned long integer value then percentage c is for character value so when we want to read any character or uh, when we want to display any character at the time we can go for this percentage c then percentage f so it is for representing floating point values and percentage lf is for double value then when we use capital L and F, then it is for long double value. Then percentage S yes denotes string value. Okay, it is for representing the string value. And these are all the commonly used format specifiers. Now we will see with uh, example, okay, how we can use this format specifiers. And uh, also we will see uh, what is the printf function, what is the scanf function, how to use that printf and scanf function. So first we will start with the scanf function 
and uh, this scan of function is to receive input from the user at console so here console is nothing but the output window which will be displayed to the user right so where the output will be displayed also uh, the input can be given uh, from the user by the user to the program so that that everything that screen is called as the console window here okay so that is what console here scan of is used for receiving input from the user at console then this is the syntax for scanf so it you should have the keyword scanf so after this scanf we should use this brackets okay so inside this bracket we can have a format specifiers and all these format specifiers should be uh, within the double quotes okay after this double quote we have to give comma and then we are giving some uh, variable names here and along with this variable we are using this ampersand symbol. So this ampersand symbol is used to represent the address of that variable. Okay. Why? Because here we are going to get some input from the user. So whenever the input is given to the user, that data will be stored in some particular memory location, in some particular address. So in order to represent that, we are using this ampersand symbol. So the um, this ampersand symbol is for this variable data1, which means the address it will be stored in the address of this particular variable. So likewise, we can give number of variables here. Okay, we can use number of variables along with the address symbol. And inside this kind of, uh, we will be using this format specifiers. And always this uh, format specifier, the, the number of format specifiers we are using here should be matched with the number of arguments we are using here. Okay, so this is also called as arguments. And the example is, so you can see the example here in scan of these format specifiers which we are using. So one is of percentage D, another one is percentage F and the next one is percentage C. So here percentage D is used for integer values. Percentage F means for float values and percentage C for character type of values. And for all these values here we have the uh, arguments. Okay, so here the num1 is for percentage D. And num2 is for percentage F and name is for percentage C. This is all about the scan of. The next function is a printf function. And this printf function is used to display output to the user at console. Okay, so with the help of this printf statement only, we are displaying the output. So whatever we want to display as output in the console window, we can use this printf statement. And the syntax of this printf statement is same like scan of. Here the keyword used is printf and inside this printf statement we have a format specifiers and that should be within the double code. So after this format specifiers it will be followed by the comma and after the comma we have arguments. So here these arguments are the variables. Okay so data 1, data 2 are the variables used here and here we can give a number of variables based on the number of format specifiers. Coming to the end uh, one more thing here we have to note. In scanf, we have to use this ampersand symbol in order to represent the address. But in printf statement, it is not necessary to use this ampersand symbol because we are just going to print the value. So the value can be directly printed with the help of this variable name itself. Right? So no need to go for this ampersand symbol here. Only this symbol should be used in scanf statement. An example for printf is so this is the example here we have two format specifiers one is percentage d and one is percentage f so percentage d is for num1 here percentage f is for num2 and uh, this is integer type and this is floating type now let us take a simple c code as an example uh, to understand the formatted io functions and then format specifiers so starting from header file uh, followed by a main function and inside main function here we have uh, two declaration statement the first declaration statement is declaring the variables id and age which is of type integer and the second declaration statement have variable salary and which is of type float right so then uh, it is followed by a printf statement and in this printf statement we have enter the id so when this statement is executed, now in the output screen, we will receive enter the ID as output first. Okay, so this is the 
output that is to be displayed in the first line of the output when this statement gets executed. After this statement, it will move to scan of statement. And we know scan of statement is used to get the input from the user at console. So now the input the user have to give is ID. Okay, so which is of integer type. When uh, the user sees the message like enter the ID, then the user will enter some ID here. Like I'm entering 1. Now the ID is 1. So what is the ID value? It is 1. And now the printf again it will come to another printf statement and this printf will print enter the age. So this will print enter the age in the console window. So after printing it the control moves to scan of statement which is used to get the input for the variable age which is of integer type. So now after seeing this message enter the age in the output screen the user will enter some age here like I am entering it as 18. Okay, so now the input for age is 18. Then printf enter the salary. Next it will print enter the salary. So now it will display enter the salary as output. In I mean uh, this statement will be printed after this statement in the console window. So this means that the user have to enter some salary. So we need to give some salary right. For that we are using the scan of statement which is used to get the salary that is the value for salary and this should be in floating type so we can give some salary like uh, i'm giving it as thousand point five zero zero something okay so this is given as the input for salary now salary has this value and uh, we can give this input with the help of this scan of statement so after the scan of statement again the control moves to this print of statement so here it will print employee details so after this employee details gets printed in the output now it will come to this next print of statement so this print of statement inside this print of statement we just use this slash n which is for new line so again it will come to new line and after this we have one more print of statement which we which is going to print all these things okay so first it will print and since we have given slash n here it will be printed in next line so age if you look at here age equal to and here we have given percentage d and what this percentage will refer this percentage d will refer the first argument age so what is the value of age we have entered 18 now it will print 18 comma okay here comma is there so comma then id id equal to again for this id we have percentage d so this percentage d refers to the second argument id so what is the id we have entered it is one so this will give one okay then comma comma then salary uh, it will be printed in the same line only so salary because i'm not having any space here i'm just writing it here so salary we have given is thousand point five zero 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 okay that will be printed because this percentage here preferred argument salary here and if you look at in this printf statement i have used slash t so which will leave a tab space okay between this age and comma then this slash t leaves space between this uh, value that is id equal to this value then comma so now id equal to one then it will leave some space and comma here also it will leave some space actually i didn't leave it will leave some space and here it will give us comma Okay, so slash t is used for giving tab space. This is how uh, the printf and scanner functions are performing its task in a program and then uh, this is what the format specifiers are and this is how it should be used. Okay, 